is Sierra Sotheby's International Realty. Today I wanted to talk about five things you should know about home values going on in the current market. But first, I'm hoping you are well and your family is well, and I wanted to express a great deal of gratitude toward everything that we have going on positive in our lives because there's a lot of great things going on. And I hope you're reaching out to your family and your your neighbors and your friends. And if anybody's alone out there, make sure you're calling them and checking in on them because the mind is a tricky place and we want to keep everybody positive. So after talking with a lot of real estate professionals, financial people, economists, and reading a lot, I wanted to share some thoughts with you about how today's market compares to the real estate crash of 2008. Number one, mortgage standards are strong. Today, you have to really qualify and show proof of income to get a loan compared to 2008 when pretty much anybody and their dog could get a loan. Number two, prices have not surged out of control. This is what happened in 2008, just before the crash. Prices, prices in our market have continued to get to where they are in a nice, slow, steady climb. Number three, we don't have a surplus of homes on the market. If you have more than six months inventory, that's when you have a surplus and that'll bring down values. But right now we have a shortage. Number four, the affordability formula. There's three components, home price, income, and mortgage rates. In the last recession, prices were high, wages were pretty good, but interest was also really high, over 6%. Today, home prices are high, wages have gone up a little bit, but interest rates are incredibly low, meaning that the people that still have jobs are gonna be paying a smaller percentage of their income to their mortgage. Now, income is probably the weak link that could make prices drop in today's market. Number five, people are equity rich. Over 50% of the people that own a home have over 50% equity in their home. They aren't using their home like an ATM account. Last time, a lot of people actually owed more on their home than the value of their home, and that led to a lot of foreclosures and, and defaults on properties. I think the biggest uncertainty right now is that if too many jobs are lost, that could translate down the road into more homes coming on the market for sale, which could then mean prices coming down, but I think that's a ways off. Another thing that could keep our market strong, just besides the pent up demand, is that a lot of people during this COVID-19 have realized that they can telecommute. They don't need to go and sit in the office. So they can come up here, they can buy a home up here and live and work in the mountains with all the fresh air and they don't need to live in the city. So I think we're actually gonna have pretty big influx of people that wanna live here full time. I've lived here most of my life and been helping people build homes, buy homes, sell homes. In strong markets, weak markets, and a tricky market, it's great to have a, a trusted real estate advisor. So be well, be safe, express gratitude. I hope to hear from you. My name is Chris Hinkle. I'm with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty, and you can reach me at 530-412-2644. I look forward to hearing from you.